So there are actually some new controversies when it comes to Resident Evil 4 Remake. The buzz has been non-stop, but people are saying Capcom has sunk to an all-time low with this one. First things first though, there is an update that has apparently fixed the Xbox controller's dead zones and has also fixed the PlayStation version's blurry screen issues. So big W for that. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell because I got you all locked in on all the latest Resident Evil videos. Only 12% of you guys who watch and love the videos are currently subbed and let's raise that number even higher. And hit that like button to celebrate the release of DLC and more goodies from Resident Evil 4. Mercenaries mode is out right now for people to download for free, and at the moment, Krauser is the best character in the game. Until Wesker drops, of course. I did a hilarious melee only run with Krauser and got an S++ ranking. Check out that video right now on the channel if you guys haven't seen it yet. I do agree it is disappointing there is no Ada Wong or Wesker in the game right now, but as long as Separate Ways DLC is hella expanded, I don't mind them lumping it all together in a package to pay for. What do you guys think? For an expanded Separate Ways DLC that comes with Ada Wong and Wesker for Mercenaries, is a $20 price tag too much or worth it? Sound off in the comments below. Also, it's actually come to a realization to me that after playing the Mercenaries game mode, most of the characters do not have a whole lot of voice quips, even Leon. So those leaked Ada Wong voice lines we talked about previously and the dialogue with her mentioning Luis are all more than likely pertaining specifically to separate ways. If you don't remember, these are what the voice lines sound like. Luis, need a hand? This is it. From yours truly. For me? I can't pass through. It's hot. Get down. Out of my way. This is getting interesting. Not bad. Night night. Bingo. Too bad. Good night. A clean strike. Oh, did I overdo it? It won't open. Lights out. Thanks. Something to remember me by. Take a long nap. That was the last one. <sighs> okay. Let's dance. Finally. You're making this more difficult. Understood. Ugh. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Monster. You need to learn some new tricks. Not good. Knife's broken. <sighs> You're wide open. What? Get out of here. Better act quick. I'm out. Got a little carried away. Today's my lucky day. Great. That's enough of that. Not bad. I have to do something. I was afraid of that. Oh boy. What? Damn it. Guess it's my lucky day. Stay back, will you? I'm impressed. You're a tough one. <clears throat> I've about had it with these tentacles. <sighs> oh, my head. Ugh. Move. Next. Locked. You can't be serious. I'll need to make do now. Stay down. I'm empty. Down you go. Take this. Luis. Not bad. Thanks. Shouldn't have gotten in my way. Did that do something? Ugh. Try to stay out of trouble. Don't worry. It'll be over soon. Nice move. Bring me a challenge. Who's next? Just my luck. There we go. You can do better than that. Ah, oh, this is getting old. Close your eyes. Look away. Out of the way. In trouble here. You never know what you're capable of with your back against the wall. Run. Here. Catch. Won't budge. Sorry. Not interested. None of the characters in Mercenaries mode have any quips like this, so I look forward to seeing these being in the Ada Wong DLC story. But in addition to Mercenaries mode being free, something else came out with it that is not free. However, it's absolutely an optional thing you do not need to purchase, and can instead just play the game to unlock these on your own. But you can buy exclusive weapon upgrades now for $3 each, or a bundle of five for $10, or a bundle of three for $7. This will fully max out any weapon for you and give you that weapon's exclusive upgrade. For example, if you use this on the Chicago typewriter, you can unlock infinite ammo for it. I personally never really cared enough to buy these things. I'd rather just play the game on my own and unlock it. But also, I never looked down on any players who care to buy these things. I do see some misconceptions though online that I would love to clear out because people are talking about it in my comments too. Generally, a lot of players are saying this is a pay to win mechanic. And yes, it absolutely is, but mainly for the single player story offline game. This does not work or function for mercenaries mode or any online features that may exist in the future. You can only access these from your treasures and they offer no benefit in mercenaries mode, especially since you can't even adjust the character equipment in that game mode. This process helps to speed up maxing out a weapon in the story, which does take quite some time. And at a $3 price tag with multiple bundles, 
it does seem to be kind of worth it for some people that are trying to save time. I can't argue against that. But again, it's entirely optional and does not work on mercenaries mode. I just want to clear that up for you guys. To me, it seems like they're trying to target speedrunners or people who work long days and don't get enough time to really put in that many hours of gaming. But even so, I don't think infinite ammo speedruns with endgame weapons are heavily revered anyways. It's an obvious cash grab, but I don't think it's preying on its players. But Capcom is trying to make the monies, and it's very profitable for them because technically it costs them nothing to make and there are no physical stocks to have to deplete through. So it's 100% profit for Capcom at the end of the day. Speaking through your wallet has always been known to showcase to these companies how the players really feel. So if you do not support these at all, don't buy them. The lack of sales of these won't necessarily hurt them because like I said, this is not really something that they have to manufacture or take the time to make. But at the end of the day, if they see that enough players are not really into this type of stuff, they might not even bother. I don't see Capcom turning into a company like EA at least, you know? In the meantime, without Ada Wong or Wesker being in my life, I am holding out hope that maybe this is because they're working on Ada Wong's mayhem ability. Fingers crossed. I know that's a lot of copium. I'm holding out hope that maybe this is because they are reworking Ada Wong's mayhem ability into something more unique to her character. So far, every character has a unique one, but according to the data mines, her mayhem super is exactly the same as Leon's, which is very silly in my opinion. It should make it something relating to the grapple hook that she uses. I think it very well could be done, and I'm just holding out hope, mostly cope, at this point, either that or they're re-recording Ada Wong's lines based on the feedback they receive from fans and media outlets. What do you guys think about the Mercenaries mode so far? Who is your favorite character to use? Sound off in the comments below. I think out of all of them, Luis has the most unique playstyle in the sense that you have to actually think about every move you make since his close range kit is not easy mode friendly and is better benefited to thrive from far away. I can't wait for more stuff to come out for RE4 Remake. I keep wondering if aside from separate ways, will we be getting any other DLC packs? The Operation Javier DLC or something relating to a single player experience with Wesker? So much to wonder, so much to hope for. Whatever it is, I'm just excited to learn about the next new thing. What do you guys think? Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Resident Evil 4 Remake videos are on the way and you do not want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.